Hello everyone, and welcome back to Starbound, where we are currently exploring inside of the core mines with our Florian mad scientist, Kessie, who is examining these mysterious little aliens down here, wondering if they taste good roasted over an open fire. Speaking of which, we're getting a little bit hungry, so let's go ahead and snack on some popcorn. Surprisingly filling. And I wonder... Oh, I can attack straight down. How nifty is that? Oh my gosh, and I'm hitting all of them with the same... What? That was so cool. We hit all of them with the same bow. That was pretty awesome. We got a hardened carapace. Uh, we can go ahead and even have a nice little nap right inside of this tent. Don't mind if we do. Nice. And let's actually take this tent with us so that we can take some naps inside of the core fragment mines as we continue to explore. So let's see, anything in here? A good bit of iron in there. <gasps> Two core fragments just sitting out in the open like that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Maybe I should actually leave them behind here because we'll, we'll be coming back out this way. So I'm gonna leave the core fragments here because I, like heck I want to like lose those. Uh, all right. Let's see, there's a few pieces. Interesting. Another, <gasps> another matter manipulator. And what is this? A one-handed, super powerful Comet Thatcher hammer? Yes, this is fantastic. All right, let's turn around. I'm going to also leave this core fragment here because I am not going to lose that, no way. Uh, and we're definitely leaving the manipulator module of which I need several in order to upgrade our matter manipulator. And now we have the ability to possibly use, hang on a second, this really powerful, cool looking, oh my gosh. That would be a really cool hammer to use. I think I want to bring it with us. <laughs> oh, but should I leave behind? Oh, now that's two really good weapons. All right, what about in here? More core fragments? Just lying out in the open like this? This is making my job much easier. All right, and now we're up to, I think, six altogether. Yes, five here and one back on the ship. So this isn't so bad. If everything's gonna be this easy, we'll be done in no time. All right, oh, as I said, if everything is going to be this easy, we'll be done in no time. It appears these creatures are possibly guarding some really, really good, uh, good, I would say they're guarding a really good stash of mysterious treasure. So I'm not going to let them have it. We're actually going to go ahead. I'm going to try shooting. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Can we say super aggressive? Is this like the boss mama of these guys? Okay, as long as we're up here, I think we'll be okay. All right, ooh! Yeah, this would, this would really hurt. Let's see if we can stab it a couple times with our toxicity. There we go. Yeah. And now I just need to make sure I finish it off with my hunting bow. But it definitely seems to be somewhat weak to the toxins. All right, there you go. Take that, take that, take that. Okay, wait for him to back up a little bit. Oh, we got him! We got him! Not in front of the children, it says. Oh no, I killed his mother. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm a really aggressive, bad, crude, mad scientist or else I would be so ridiculously upset about that. But it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I'm supposed to be a little bit of a bad guy as a mad scientist. Oh, and they're all just singing to themselves. Get back over here, children. I have an idea. There you go. There you go. And this way, you'll all get a chance to grow up big and strong. Also, somehow I got 20 core fragments from defeating your mother. So I apologize. It was in the name of science. You will all grow up to be powerful alphas of your own zones. So, uh, yeah, I feel pretty terrible right now. But there's also a machine pistol. Um... This is why we needed to, to be somebody who's a little bit rougher, tougher, and doesn't have, oh my gosh, a tech card upgrade. <gasps> and doesn't have very many uh, moral qualms. So uh, I'm sorry if this is quite upsetting to you, but you know, Kessie is what Kessie does. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually have enough core fragments to activate the gate now. And I didn't even have to go digging for them. This is beauty and grace and fantastic. We're gonna gather up these pieces before we go. 
I will release the children before we go, don't worry. I feel badly I, I destroyed their mother in front of them, but sometimes these things happen. Also, I don't have the ability to make these tall wooden torches yet, so let me go ahead, put some normal torches down, and gather these. And then I would love to be able to gather up like these these plant matter pieces. Oh, now I know how to craft them. Okay, well now that I know how to craft them, I'll just take a few more so that I can decorate around my home by the Florian Flower Forest Temple. And we'll learn how to craft our own as well. And there we go. I feel badly that I destroyed their mother. So there you are, children. Be free, be free. So sorry. Okay, be free, but don't eat me. I wasn't offering myself up as like dinner. All right, there's that. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Apparently, we can just straight up leave for for. Oh, and let's actually take these little. Oh man, I wanted to take those little pots, not destroy them. I want the oil lantern. Maybe these chairs. The little pots are so cute. Metal barrel. Let's see. Want these as well. There we go. All right, well, I have raided this place quite well. <laughs> we will leave it with whatever mysteries it wants to, to keep to itself. And uh, let's head back up to the ship. Oh, hey, I'm gonna take this too. Because those oil lanterns I can actually use to make into a miner's hat at some point in the future. And I need to have oil, which I cannot get until I can manipulate liquid matter in order to mess with them. All right, back up to the ship we go. That was literally the fastest I have ever collected up those core fragments in all of the simulations I've ever run on that experiment ship snake. All right, so let's see. We have we have the 20 that we need, so I'm going to leave seven here. And we also managed to get... Where is it? Oh, tech card upgrades. More matter manipulators. Just need a few more and I'll be able to do what I want. This really cool hammer, which I'm gonna leave here because it's awesome. And now we have a pistol, which I don't even know what that does. As if I needed the throwing bones, I'll just go ahead and leave them here. So we want to use the core fragments in order to activate the gate. And for our matter manipulator, I need to have eight of the matter manipulator modules before I'm going to be able to get the power generator going. And I'm only halfway there. All right, ship snake, stay here. We are going to go over, whoops, nope, 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 nope. Uh, except we are gonna go ahead and go to the ancient gateway. Never have I actually activated the ancient gateway. So I have no idea what to expect. All right, let's put down some torches. So at least I'm not expecting whatever I'm expecting in the dark. And then let's have a solid meal of some ribs and come on over and get going. All right, we're gonna activate it. You appear to have successfully activated the gate. It seems another message is coming through. Okay. I am Florian Firame. Please come. I urgently require help. The universe depends on it. Use this ancient gateway and meet me at the Ark Ruins, past the outpost. Find the source of the mysterious messages. Oh? Hmm. Alright, how do I do that? Oh my gosh. Alright, I guess I'm just teleporting to a new place. <laughs> I'm sure this will work out just fine. Perhaps I should work on fixing my ship, but it appears we're here. Alright. I didn't expect this. Oh, wow. Where are we? Past the ruins of the ancient outpost? I can't see anything either. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Maybe this way. It looks like this way. <gasps> what? Hello? Oh my gosh, I can buy stuff here. <gasps> I've never even seen most of this stuff. Oh my gosh. We've, we've got chocolate? I can buy cheese? A um, whole medical kit? Oh my gosh. Hello? I only barely escaped from Earth as it was torn apart. I'm lucky to be here. <gasps> what? Past the ruins of the ancient outpost, eh? Uh, hello? I once served the stargazers until I realized I no longer agreed with their views. <gasps> Another Florian, perhaps. Another Florian. You understand the glory of the hunt. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch- What? The entity that destroyed Earth could strike other wor worlds. We must devise a plan to strike back. 
Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I've never been here. Oh, I think I know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, what? This person's really in love with this penguin. Hello, space traveler. A friendly face is always welcome here. Wow. Yeah, I've never been here because <laughs> I've never had the chance. Uh, there's some tech right over here. We can have tech cards in order to make some tech. Select a tech to upgrade or equip. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, hello. Let's get technical. I have been developing technology that will enable the user to swiftly dash from one point to another, but I am lacking a few cru crucial components for my prototype. Could you help by bringing me 10 copper bars? Uh, sure, at some point I can, my friend. Wow, okay. There, I love the penguin. Uh, need a bounty hunter? I could use the pixels. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I've never been here. <laughs> So this is very exciting for me. Uh, I've never actually gathered all of the, the fragments. All right, and it looks like somebody's up here. My little dip, uh, my little dipper lost his teddy bear. I'd like to finish setting up the shop. Uh, uh, setting up shop. I can't finish setting up shop with him like this. Can you please get me a new teddy bear for him? Oh, and then we get a little mysterious bag if we do that for Bernard. Oh, of course, I'll be happy to do that. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Copper bars. I, I've got that. There's there looks like a little a little pirate spaceship thing. Okay. Hello, hello. Do you remember where you parked your hover bike? Just reconstituted from raw auto chips. Oh my gosh! So this guy, he's got auto chips for vehicle upgrades. Green boat controllers. What hover bikes? <laughs> I have been so out of the loop. I didn't even know you could have hover bikes. Oh my gosh. This is literally a whole new world for me to discover. This is very exciting. All right, is this the ancient outpost? Could this be where I'm supposed to keep going? I mean, I can't see anything. What about over here? And now I can just go ahead. Oh, the outpost, the Ark. <gasps> but I can't go there yet. Wow, but I can beam to my ship. Okay. So that's going to be a little interesting. Well, let's go back up and beam to the ship because I thought I needed those core fragments in order to fix my ship. Like that's how long ago it's been since I've done anything of this depth, but apparently not. All right, ship, what do you need in order to fix you? Maybe, maybe actually. I want, I want to go places, ship snake. All right, let's see. Ship thruster is currently offline. Teleportation system is functional. So I suppose I do need to find the mysterious messenger. Okay, so getting started, we are currently in orbit. Beam down and use the teleporter search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. And then we have two other things that we want to do, technical stuff and the lost Teddy. And beam down, search for supplies, perhaps a means of fixing the ship. Find the source of the mysterious messages. That's the, huh, all right. All right, I've got this ship snake. Nobody panic. I, I can figure out what we're doing from here. Uh, let's go get some iron bars from, from the temple forest. There we go. Or not iron, I want my copper bars. Wonderful, oh, are my potatoes almost ready? Not quite, everything is growing here. It would be very nice to have a fantastic little farm up and going that I could just collect from. All right, so we wanna have 10 iron bars. Wait, is that 14? No! Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten iron bars, and then I saw something about a teddy bear. I feel so primitive now that we have been into a big area like that. Come back over here, and I'm just like rolling around with all this stuff. Okay, so I need cotton wool for that, and I don't have cotton yet, so I won't be able to help with the teddy bear just quite yet. Uh, but wow, we're, we're getting quite a bit done. But that does leave the question of, now I actually do not know how to fix my ship. <sighs> so let's go back. Mysterious messenger said, past the ruins. Maybe I need to risk, okay, let's go to the Ark, where a whole bunch of people escaped from the destruction of Earth and are now fretful that other planets will be soon behind. Uh, and let's go get the technical stuff going because they're gonna give me a module for that and pass the ruins of the Ark, huh? Huh, I don't think it'll be down. Pretty sure it's not gonna be down, but let's go ahead and just get the, the matter manipulator really quickly, because I want that thing. Hey, where do you take me? 
Oh, interesting. That'll be like a new teleportation spot if we just want to like pop straight into it. Well, that might be really useful. Wait, what was this? My dash technology needs to be properly tested before I can go into mass production. Would you mind putting it through your paces on my obstacle course? Talk to me again when you're ready. I can send you there. Oh, hey, that would be kind of interesting, um, but I'm not going to do that just now. Uh, maybe I should because it would like allow us to do dashing, but we'll find out. Whoa, this goes, whoa, this goes down. Okay, maybe I need to come down here. There's even trash bags. Okay, and there's something down here. Hello? Dr Dread, <laughs> Dreadwing the penguin? Help me out, will ya? Business around here hasn't been so great since all my regulars are on the run from Dreadwing and his great gang of crooks. Go and defeat Dreadwing for me. Come when you're ready, I'll send you right to him. Um, in the future, I guess, buddy. But I mean, that sounds a little dangerous right now. And there's like trash cans to dig through. And little penguins down here. What's this? Making a max. Okay, I have missed out on a lot since uh, last I remember. So, not sure. I should have brought my flashlight. <gasps> I need my flashlight. Okay, let's go get my flashlight out of the ship. And then maybe then I can see where the heck I'm going and what I'm doing. Where did I put the darn flashlight? Do I still have it on me? No. So, it must be down. It must be down at the forest temple. So we'll go there really quickly. Oh, this is so much easier now that I can just like zip around from place to place. I've never gotten this far, so <laughs> I'm kind of tickled by everything I'm finding right now. Uh, all right, let's see. And I think, yeah, there's the flashlight. All right, I do have a machine pistol now. That's true. I must look ridiculous running around with this little hunting bow though. All right, let's pop over here and jump up. And now we're gonna go ahead and beam back. And then let's see if I can, oh, and let's leave behind the, there we go. Now we're up to five, just three left. And I will be quite happy with what we're up to. And I'll be able to make our beam much stronger so we can mine, explore, and destroy things a lot faster. Phew, all right, there we go. So where does this lead? This is looking pretty mysterious. This is the kind of place a mad scientist would want to run. All right. Oh. Why, hello. Who is she? Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? Excellent. So you're a protector. I'm sorry to say. Perhaps the last. After the terrible destruction of Earth. What? It's sadly inevitable that we should meet now. What? You're so cool. You look like what I want to look like when I look old. My name is Esther Bright, retired Grand Protector. I left some years ago, an impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. Hmm, she sounds like a woman after my own mind. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavily on the present. Dun dun dun. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for eons. But this tranquility proved finite. A being arose, one of hate and destruction. It was ruin. Hmm. The ruin could not abide any form of life, and reap destruction upon the universe. The cycle of life and death... It fought to blot out all life and would have succeeded, but for the sacrifice of the Cultivator. The Cultivator rose against the Ruin and succeeded in stealing it away. Stealing it away, even. <laughs> but in doing so, the Cultivator exhausted its power completely. Before its last energies dissipated, the Cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the ruin. Why on earth would we want to do that? Or I guess Earth is dead now, but still. The defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the ruin, and truly destroy it. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you. But I would like your help. 
As the last protector, I would rather just go back to digging up graves, to be honest, ma'am. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. Actually, maybe a grave digger is the perfect person for this job. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go the way of Earth. Dun dun dun! Okay, that was exciting. All right, we did it! Yay! Okay, and hopefully everything will work out now. Becoming space worthy. First things first, dear. You need to get the ship in a ship in good working order. Who knows how far you'll have to travel before we're all done. We're done. I think you should return to the outpost and speak to Penguin Pete, the shipyard captain. All right. So now I'm going to be able to repair my ship. Thank you very much, ma'am. May we meet again for more grave digging for these ruins and other things. But all right, guys. About time I finally made a little bit of progress. The story stuff wasn't even in it. Last Last time I uh, worked on a <clears throat> simulator for Starbound, but let's go ahead and run back and I will meet you guys back at the ruins next time, these outpost ruins, um, preparing to speak to a penguin. It's going to be a very special day and I'll see you all then. Bye bye